Welcome back to Season 21, War 5 versus We Are Groot 2D. I've got one, two, three, four, five, I have six fights this war. And so we're boosting up here for this Sasquatch on Kinetic Transference. And what's the other one? Um, it's like Evade and Unstoppable. What do they call it? Force of, or not Force of, Footloose. There it is. So basically... Super straightforward doom fight. Uh, I do end up, at, something happens at one point in this fight, and he like kind of shrugs, and I don't know, something happens. But anyway, it's basically just stagger, 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 let him get a bunch of power, and get into the doom rotation. You've seen me take this fight now a couple of times. Uh, of course, you know, Sasquatch isn't uh, shock immune, plus uh, he's not awakened, so he's not going to get some of his additional abilities. I think it's healing uh, when he gets into low. So here... Uh, everything's going super smooth over two and a half bars of power to him getting in the doom rotation and from here it's pretty much lights out but once again you'll, you'll see here in a minute i think like maybe he enters wrath or something um and it shrugs mid combo or something i end up taking a end up taking a few hits but uh for doom this fight is super straightforward i don't even want to throw my sp2 here i just want to keep on keeping him staggered and there he throws it, you know, while I'm blocking, but that's okay. I've got four of those charges, so I can evade a few times, and it's no sweat. Build right back up to the SP3. Easy game, easy life so far. Lost 2% health, he's down halfway, taking a breather. I'm playing in my mind how the rest of this fight's gonna go out. I saw medium, medium. Standard Doom. Here I will throw the SP2 because he's getting so low. I'm just like, alright, melt down, melt down. I think he, is he right, right there? I don't know what happened exactly. Um, I'll have to rewatch it like in slow motion or something, but he for some reason just my, maybe he was still shocked. Uh, I, I, I really don't know. Or he becomes stun immune, so I got the hit in, and when I went to throw the heavy, it didn't apply. So anyway. Regardless, pretty easy fight for Doom. I've got two of these Aegis Intercept. Well, I call them Aegis Intercepts, but they're the Ebb and Flow Intercepts. Uh, Mordo and then Professor X. This Mordo is a six-star rank one. So it's kind of like, well, okay. Like, I brought Magic and I brought Warlock. Actually, you know, four of these fights, and I was like, wait a minute. Why don't I just use Doom? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just top him off here with one, one 6,000 potion. And then the next fight I was assigned Warlock uh, and then got to thinking about it. I was like, why don't I just use Doom again? So a couple more Doom fights. This Mordo, I, it's almost like AQ. Boom, he backs off and then I get the intercept right out of the gate. So that was phenomenal. And of course I've got him staggered now for power gain. I've got all this additional attack from uh, actually nailing an intercept. And this fight is just, it was over for him before it even began. Just kind of wait out the clock here. He's staggered. Boom. No problem. I want to see if I can get off an intercept. Perfect. Right before an SP3. And that that seals the deal on this fight. I mean, Doom could out damage him even if I didn't get the intercept. But to nail a second intercept like that, nah, he doesn't stand a chance. How much did this one do? It was like, uh, oh yeah, well, about 27k. Not a super fancy SP3, but anyway, rank one Mordo versus rank three Doom. Doesn't stand a chance. Two fights down, four to go. So this Professor X fight, I fought him a bunch, of course, like everybody in the event quest. I, and I did fight him in war, so I've got a much better grasp on his falter. Uh, it goes pretty good. Um, there's, there's one time, I think, where, I don't know, he ends up hitting me a few times, but man, it's Doom. You can't hardly kill the guy. So you'll see here, gets off to a good start. He always, I, I need to read his abilities more. He always kind of surprises me about when I can and can't stun him. So I'm always like, is that a stun? Is it not gonna? Is it not gonna stick? Is it gonna stick? And then his, uh, like right there, I parried and I eat an SP1. I'm just like, okay, gosh, faltered. <laughs> like, all right, wonderful, good start, good start. So let's let's try to get things back on uh, on track here. 
And I know that he's got a super long animation after his SV1, so he's just gonna stand there and let me come in and attack. So it's no sweat. I do know which charge to look for now, uh, in terms of uh, the fail. Or falter, I should say. So I know that my next time I go to attack him, it's going to falter. Just back off. Got the parry. Okay, cool. SV3 rotation. So it's a slower fight, especially not, you know, with his power being the way it is, you don't really want to try any intercepts for the most part. Unless he's backed against the wall, but I can never really get him backed up with uh, not enough power, of course, to to try one. So we're just going to try to do a normal doom rotation. He'll, he'll out damage it. It's not that big of a deal. Didn't get the ideal one there. He wasn't in full three bars when I let that off. But we'll, we'll just keep stealing some power. And like I said, he's down to halfway. I've lost 15% health. I know I'm going to falter. Cool. Just back off. Yeah, he doesn't use all of his power. And then, of course, he locks me, essentially, from being able to use a special. So I'm just kind of chilling. Let him throw another one. All right, cool. Four, three, two. I know he's going to falter here soon, so i got to watch my combo. And eat a heavy. <laughs> but it pushes me to a special three. So no sweat. Like I said, longer fight. Um, I'm going to cut here until he's down to about... 10% or so. Let's see what this does. Yeah, we'll, we'll just let it play out. There's not much left to this fight. Doom doing doom things. Because right here, yeah, SP2. He's not going to falter anytime soon. Let those burn him down. Yeah, fight over. So cool. So three fights in. No deaths. Uh, let's see. Doom. I got to use him for one more fight coming up here. Where I'm going to reboost this time for the final push because I will be taking the Apocalypse boss, which is a rank 2. I have solo to rank 3, um, but this then this Apocalypse boss doesn't go quite as smooth. So I got Black Widow Deadly Origin here, and then Dragon Man. Uh, this node has, uh, I think it's unblockable SP1, of course, Hurt Locker, so I don't want to use the same specials twice. And she's got to where she builds to an SP1 really fast, but then doesn't really gain any power after that. So you can kind of just cut loose um, on this node. Just watch, you know, to make sure that uh, your specials, you're not using um, the same one twice in a row, basically. But with Doom, you're, you know, SP3, SP1, SP2 type rotation. So that's not, that's not typically a concern. Although it will be much harder to, when she doesn't gain power above, uh, one bar very quickly. It's really hard to get her to three full bars, but doom being uh, Shock immune is a really ideal matchup for this right now I'm just letting her evade timer kind of wear out And then I reminded myself I was like, you know Her sp2 doesn't give her that evade charge and it's much easier. I think to evade um, For the most part, but she doesn't really give me an opportunity to let me push her to it So just kind of back off and it's just parry heavy whenever she's got the evade charge not that she would shock me if she did evade, but it's just less to deal with. And I think here I'm going to do a 5 hit right into SP2. Yeah. Let it burn her down. And that'll be all she wrote. Next up, Dragon Man. Uh, Power Control Champ is the name of the game for this node since, I mean, you can kind of negate his power gain a little bit with uh, parry stuns, but he still gains power pretty fast. So we're going to be using uh, magic, and of course, since I'm going to be using her for the boss, we will throw on a power start one boost, just to get this fight under control as quickly as possible. You can see there are all my mystic boosts, my green boost, my red boost, and my orange boost. This fight uh, for magic, yeah, really, against certain champs like Apoc, um, Dragon Man, you don't really want to eat the heavy right out of the gate or eat a combo because they've got uh, damage over time effects. You know, I think he can incinerate you on his heavy. So all I want to do here is just kind of block a little bit, get out of the way, get to the special two, and then it's uh, it's lights out for this guy. And since he's a robot, of course, he's not even healing from the uh, power lock. So that's nice. No extra health I have to deal with. And he's just a five star, 565. 
So for magic, like I said, this one where I do go for the stand-up intercepts. Um, I don't go for any backdrafts. So the stand-up is pretty safe in my opinion, um, but I'm just gonna get a parry off afterwards if that fails. And like I said, the stand-up intercepts uh, are pretty safe. I've, I don't think I've ever been parried uh, trying one of those, but I'm not going for any any fancy uh, backdrafts or anything on this fight. Limbo didn't quite uh, come out right there and heal me back up, so I'm gonna have to throw a potion into her. But now for the main main event, this is a 6-2 uh, Awaken. I didn't bother to check his signature level, Apocalypse, but you know, he's got 400 and plus thousand health. Um, I'm kind of glad I top off here because I'm gonna need it. So 2,500 off of her was a 40 some odd thousand. I mean, shoot, that was over five, six percent. You'll see, I, I get down to that range. Um, so that potion right there probably saved the solo, I imagine. So I kind of know how I want to approach this. I don't want to eat the heavy because he applies the bleeds. Uh, I should have punished right there, but I was like, well, I'm okay with building my combo up a little bit. He's kind of chipping me away, you know, over 20% already. But I'll start to heal that back up with Limbo and everything. Uh, this guy, as always, is super, uh, super heavy happy. He'll always throw, you know, just get off a of parry, re-parry. And a lot of times, you know, if he doesn't throw on that first one like he did there, he's throwing it after two hits. So... You can play this pretty safe, and that was kind of in my mind, like, I'm just going to play this a lot safer, and I did that last one. The last one I did a ton of, uh, a ton of backdraft, or, you know, just intercepts, uh, four hits in against the wall, and then doing my thing, um, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, here, I do go for a light attack uh, intercept. I tried it right there, and man, he just, I'm, gra I'm grateful he only three hit me. Uh, if he four hits me there, or five hits me, I, I'm probably dead. So, better lucky than good sometimes. Um, get him backed up against the wall here. And this is where I decide to go for a uh, light attack and, and you know, intercept with the light, and, which is how I play Mojo and some other bosses. I'm like, okay, that paid off. Um, the only thing is I'm just so low on health, 31%. He was over 60. Uh, I tried it again there. He didn't come out after it, so I just kind of chilled. And then... I want to say that uh, I didn't really feel comfortable at this point, like with my health, that if I fail an intercept, that he, I mean, he'll just finish me off, you know, so I'm, I'm sitting at 30, uh, he's down from 60 down to 40, so that's all going good, uh, I don't like the spacing right there to go for the stand-up intercept, uh, to me, they need to be pinned, pinned in the corner, like your fourth and fifth hit need to be pushing him against the wall, basically. So if I can bait a heavy here, okay. This is this is the type of situation where I go for the stand-up. And since I could spam special twos there, I was like, okay. And see, I didn't even bother right there because if I fail or he clips me, it's it's fight over. Uh, I got enough health to work with, you know, so a few blocked hits. I'm continuing to push uh, limbo. So I'm gonna be healing, you know, any of those blocked hits back up. Plus, of course, uh, healing a little bit more from uh, recoil. So here I'm actually feeling pretty good. You know, I've only lost about 6%, 5% uh, when he was at 60. He's down to 9. Uh, it does get a little bit hairy again. So here, I accidentally, he, he does do the 5 hit. I triggered um, the indestructible. I'm like, all right, let me heal from this. And then I just need to get him power locked again. Like, don't, I can't block a special one. No way. There we go. Cool. So four, three, two. I'm going to throw a special one. Okay, it doesn't kill him, but I'm still in limbo. And I'm going to come in here and finish it off with a special one. Again. So about a three minute fight. Not as fast as Ghost, of course. But hey, man. Solo is a solo. I do love magic. Uh, she healed me up a ton. That fight always continues to save my butt. So I will take it. Magic's my girl. Uh, and this war, we actually did end up winning. So that was a... Good little reprieve here. Good war to you guys that we are group 2D. Uh, and I'll have the next video out here shortly. Till the next one. Take care.